Caleb is our racing aficionado. Caleb, explain to us LGBTQ race horses. Please. Have I got Please. that right? Well, not, not quite. The horse isn't gay, which I'm sure you'd be glad of if you intend to breed with the thing later in its life. But Victorian trainer Archie Alexander has launched what he's calling the Pride Project, which is supposedly the first horse that has ever been owned by an entirely LGBTIQ plus ownership group. And this thing's being headed up by uh, Danny Laidley, who, of course, former AFL coach, now transgender woman. And the horse you might have seen in that photo there is going to be racing in pride flag silks. Now, you know, uh, as you all well know, and some of you viewers at home know as well, because you send me tips on the emails all the time, uh, I own a few race horses. I've never bothered to ask any of the people that I own horses with whether they happen to be gay or transgender, because it doesn't really matter a jot. Because one of the great things about racing is that it includes everyone from the richest people in the world down to the great Aussie battler who's got 2.5% of a horse. It's a real leveller as a sport. Why do we always feel the need to point out our different attributes? Why can't you just go to the track and enjoy the races without having to scream from the rooftops that you're either gay or trans or black or whatever else? Uh, I, I, hate, I hate to be a cynic, but this is clearly a money-making opportunity isn't it? You can buy into the syndicate a 5% share or a 10% share in the horse. Isn't this a way of just getting people to invest in a racehorse because it's novel and historic? Oh, well, it probably is, but they sell it as though, you know, this is some great leap for mankind, this is a great leap for inclusion. There are already plenty of gay people, LGBTIQ plus people involved in racing. The people I know and work with in racing wouldn't care a jot. All we want to do is get a horse on the track and hopefully have some success.